And with that, the countdown begins. On June 21st, 2022, a third person zombie survival PvP PvE game called The Day Before will be released. Now what the fuck is The Day Before? Well, look at the calendar! <laughs> yeah, no one should watch me, I swear to fucking god. So yeah, The Day Before is developed by Fantastic and published by Mytona. This game is, and get ready for this, a PvP PvE third person zombie survival game set in post-pandemic America where the dead try to eat the living. With that being said, you gotta kill alive motherfuckers to make them unalive while killing the already unalive motherfuckers to get food, weapons, and cars. This game, from what I've seen, draws inspiration from Tom Clancy's The Division, Tarkov, and just insert another zombie survival game in this list of games. In an interview that they did with the website Gaming Bolt, they have essentially confirmed that you will be able to complete certain activities to gain reputation with a colony of survivors, and depending on what you do, could drastically influence the outcome of the story. They are also going with a more realistic approach to loot items, meaning that items won't be categorized as rare or legendary, and they hold very realistic properties to their real-life counterparts. The developers elaborated that different gear will also have different effects. For example, a bulletproof vest will save you from a pistol shot and boots will save you from absolutely nothing at all. Traveling off-road is 100% possible, but depending on the vehicle you have, you can get stuck depending on where you choose to off-road at. They also have a fuel system for vehicles, so make sure you carry around a fuel canister with you at all times. Speaking of cars, not only will they have standard daily drivers, but they will also have armored cars and trucks for players to use and fight over. Other details they included in this interview is that there will be human NPCs outside of the safe areas. They also warn against carrying too much shit on your character because you will make more noise which could attract zombies and humans to your location. And finally, they will not have any loading screens while exploring the massive world. These are all of the ingredients needed to make this game one of the best zombie survival games of 2022. Now let me fill you in on why I'm low-key shocked and stunned in regards to Fantastic, the developer of the day before. To give you guys some retrospect on who Fantastic is and what they've made before, they made three games. One called The Wild Eight, another one called Radiant One, and their most recent game which is kinda like a mix between Prop Hunt and Dying Light called Prop Night. One thing that sticks out to me though is, is how crazy the development style is and how much it has changed over the years. And this may actually give us some insight about how this company likes to move and operate. Now, I have heard of this game before whenever Big Fry did his first video on it, calling it a potential MMO scam. And to be honest, at the time, I agreed with most of the points that he made. When I first seen the gameplay in the initial reveal, it did not look promising at all. But holy fuck, has this went from a game that I couldn't give a fourth of a fuck about to something I cannot wait to play. The game looks phenomenal. And this may be the only time I ever give NVIDIA credit for something because they came out to help these devs of this game with their cocks harder than fucking bedrock and made this beautiful game. Now the main argument has been whether or not the game is real, but I can easily tell you that I believe it is. If this would have been three years ago, I would have asked what illegal drugs they had in their system to think that this was going to work, but now with all of this new cutting edge tech that's out, I do not have any doubts that this is going to be an actual game that we can play. Even looking at the gameplay on screen, you can see that there is death and dismemberment with the zombies. The time to kill for the PvP is super fucking quick and seems more realistic than a lot of other PvPVE games out on the market today. You have a lot of open areas in different sections of the map which I will show on the screen for you guys right now. We have really good looking death and dismemberment physics going on. The gun recoil looks super realistic and super pleasing to look at. And overall the game looks like a potential game of the year contender with its current competition, Dying Light 2. The only thing I worry about more than anything is the deadline for the game. This game has been in development for a while now and unfortunately the company behind the development has had issues before with missing deadlines and response to community feedback, but I'm willing to give them credit on one of the major things they haven't done. They haven't tried to sucker people in with weird fucking marketing ads where they try to sell you a Honda Civic with a Lamborghini logo slapped over the top of it. These guys came out of the fucking woodworks and said, this is it, take it or fucking leave it. 
Now, with all that being said, is this game worth the hype? I would say without a fucking doubt in my mind, a thousand percent. You should be looking forward to this game if you're a fan of zombie survival games. Something else you should be looking forward to is more content from me. I stream and post content constantly here on YouTube, so hit that subscribe button. Not only is it free, but I feel like you'll genuinely be entertained. My name is Red Beer Mortis. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, I am fucking out of here.